Surprise! Easter egg. As you, if you're a gamer, you know what Easter eggs are. Something that was hidden in games that you didn't see before, and uh, it's a great surprise. So, um, and the reason why I'm calling this an Easter egg is literally as I was uploading this part of the discussion, we had another student that literally came in with another question, and I was going to go, "Well, I'm going to, I'm not going to answer it. Uh, I'm just going to keep it moving because I need to close this part." But the video, the uh, uh, the question was so engaging, and the way it was brought out was so engaging. Thank you for doing that. I was actually really engaged in it. That was a that was a way to capture interest um, instead of just reading prompts. Even though everybody's uh, questions uh, and the way they delivered it was great, this last one really shows. Um, really captured my attention. It really defined really what interest theory can be was very motivational music in the background following along with words i was attracted to the colors that really piqued my interest and then it um it was relevant to me so i don't know if you did that purposely the student who i'm talking about (laughs) um but that is definitely um how you do interest theory and so the question was have i personally and i'm looking at the question right now uh, have i encountered any specific challenges or barriers in applying uh this interest theory to diverse education settings and if so how have i addressed them so i'm going to tell you that in my profession that's all i've done is i've always encountered barriers and i've always encountered challenges and i'm not saying that in a negative way In my role, I am a facilitator. I am in professional development. I am in ed tech. And so I am an instructional coach. So I am always coming up with ideas and designing curriculum and facilitating and just probing questions and uh, coaching others in different different departments and in different content areas. And so... Um, all the ideas may start out as my own, but they don't end up as my own. I'm, I'm a part of a collaborative team. And so I do encounter bears all the time. And in the very beginning, I'm going to be honest, that it, it, it hit me hard. It was very hurtful uh, because I, I was very, quote, young in the game. And I thought if you, if I just show you my ideas, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. Um, but I really had to learn to really have a plan put in place and really look at what those needs of the other individuals are, no matter if it's a student, no matter if it's an educator, no matter if it's another adult learner, no matter who it is, I need to look at what are their needs versus mine and then come up with a strategic plan or and goal settings for them and then sit together with said individual with said department and show what my ideas are what my strategic goals are and hear how they feel about it what are their concerns what are their likes what are their dislikes knowing going into that situation that I already know that there are going to be some barriers. There are going to be some things that they're going to like and and not di- and uh, dislike. So um, that's part of I think being in my space, um, being prepared for that, and always um, coming up with a plan A, B, or C, but always making sure that in my role that there is a plan put in place. Um, never come into a room without having a plan without knowing who your audience is. And sometimes you may not get to know who your audience is, but the goal is always coming in with a plan. And it's okay when you don't know what those barriers are, but as long as you have a plan, some sort of a plan in place as you're going into these settings, it's going to help. So yes, um, I'm always encountering those barriers. I'm always encountering those challenges and I've learned how to um, put those head on. So I always, and I've told this to somebody uh, maybe last week, I said, I always anticipate the no's. Um, That's what I'm just used to. Whenever I'm coming into a setting, like I'm always, I'm always ready for the no's. I'm always ready for the barriers. I'm always ready for what 
the negative side of things are. And so I've learned how to navigate that. I've always partnered with people who are going to help me with those barriers. So I'm more prepared. So I do hope that answers your question. Um, I don't know that for the person who, who um, asked this question, I don't know what industry you're in. But I know for mine, since I'm in the professional development ed tech facilitator space, this is something that I uh, encounter on a daily basis. So um, I've had to really get used to this and really grow into this space. And I'm still learning and I'm still growing. So I really thank you for that question. That was a great question to really wrap up the end of this. Thank you so much. And um, again, I look forward to everybody's um, theories and discussions. Thanks.